Hello everybody, how are you guys? It's time for another in our videos on San Diego. This time it's the five worst office buildings in downtown San Diego. And the first one is the binoculars building. Now you say, oh, that's kind of neat. A twin tower office building and each side is the side of a pair of binoculars uh, standing up right on the ground, correct? Uh, no. That would be kind of cool. This is a regular looking office building with a pair of binoculars that look like they could be used by King Kong that adorn the top of the building on the 40th floor. And the lore that the owners talk about is that the binoculars represent San Diego searching over the ocean, over the world, constantly looking for new opportunities and reasons to live with joy and happiness. Uh, save that for the Chamber of Commerce. I'm not buying it. That's a big no for me. And the first on our list of five worst office buildings in San Diego. Number two is the stove building. Now the stove building is cool because it's basically a giant stove. And that's useful in a city like this that has so many community events, parades, and festivals that they need something that can handle cooking and preparing food for 50,000 to 500,000 people at a time. The problem is they keep forgetting to turn off the stove. And a stove of that size takes three weeks to power down. So now they've left the stove on for three weeks uh, and then you turn it off, it takes another three weeks to power down six weeks of heating the city 25 degrees warmer than it would normally be, which in the middle of July, guys, is way too much for anybody in the city to handle. That's a no for me. Now, number three on our list, this is really interesting. It's the suite building. The suite building is... Uh, an entire office building of candy companies and to create a theme for the building that's cohesive and reflects the uh, companies inside they've built the building they've made the building out of candy so you're you're encouraged and expected to lick at the building as you walk by when you walk down the street Go ahead and give it a lick. Go right up to it and give it a lick. It's, it's allowed. And they've made the building of such a consistency in the candy that it should be healthy for you. They haven't had any problems. In fact, so many San Diegans have licked the building that scientists say the chemical makeup of the intestines of your average San Diego resident is uh, very similar to every other San Diego resident because so many people have been licking that building for generations It sounds kind of cool and it looks like a local tradition, but I've gone all my life without licking a building and that's gonna be a no for me Number three on our list is the privilege building now the privilege building is a bunch of yuppies that Didn't really work for their money. They just lucked into it some of them have family money that was given to them when uh, their family said, hey, we don't want to talk to you anymore, but here's your inheritance. We'll give it to you early. Uh, just don't show up at the door. And they all work in the privileged building. What's kind of neat about it is that if you're selling uh, fern bars, if you're selling, meaning, meaning, uh, bars like that you would go to to get a drink that are full of ferns if you're selling uh, like Zima style drinks anything that reflects the yuppie lifestyle of the 80s you if you walk in there and you're you've got some samples you've got a sale because these privileged yuppies are living in the past and if you can come up with something that appeals to their disco day disco days uh you got a winner but for me i live through those days i don't want to see them again that's a no for me dog the number four <laughs> the number four building on our list is the encouragement building this is more of a uh, positive building 
and that is that they encourage everybody that walks in the door. So if you walk in the door of the encouragement office building, uh, they have a person at the door, a doorman or a door lady, a door person, that gives you a spot of encouragement. So if you walk in hungover, they'll say, don't worry, just put some olive oil in a pan, heat it up, uh, pour it into a glass with some uh, spritzer, and you'll be good as new. Right? Just like that. Or, hey, turn that frown upside down, fella. You're looking good. Let's chin up. They encourage you. Or, hey, I heard you're going to be on American Idol. I have seen you sing since you were seven years old. You don't have a spot of talent in your entire body, but I think you can do it anyway. Good luck. See? So they realize that even if you don't have any talent whatsoever in what you're doing, if you're totally terrible at it, they're still going to encourage you. I think that's, that's an overreach in my opinion. In this case, those people probably need a little dose of reality, so that's a no for me. But that leads us to number five on our list. It's the retool building. The retool building, they retool your life. So this is kind of neat. You can go in and talk to a variety of companies in the retool building and say, look, can we just retool what I've done with my life? Can we redesign it? Can we can we set it on a new path by just retooling the machinery? And they'll set to work and they'll try their best. Uh, the problem is, once you're past the age of 15, it's very, very difficult to retool your life and it's expensive. So they can go in and do their magic and some people really benefit, but really not enough. I, I think it's a, uh, it's almost a marketing gimmick. You might say it's uh, almost some fraud, it's a scam. So that's gonna be a no for me. And that's the fifth of our five worst office buildings in San Diego, guys. I'd say avoid those. If you know of others we should be warned about, leave a comment. Because when you share information, the whole community gets stronger. Thanks.